All right, good evening, everyone. This is Dr. Dalameda. So today we're going to be covering lab number two from the CIS 137, Introduction to Linux Operating System. So this lab is all about uh, managing files from the command line, right, in Linux. So as usual, you need to go to D2L, okay? Today's lab is uh, under module two, so I will uh, click on module two, make sure I'm in module two, right, and then uh, scroll down to where it says access right the heart academy you go on there so what you're trying to do is you're trying to reserve a lab right so let's open that a new window hopefully next that is working if it doesn't then we'll have to use another way so here you go to new lab reservation schedule a lab for myself right and then I want to schedule a lab now, right? What time is it? Right now is a 1.56. Yeah, let's go ahead and create a lab right now. And then uh, this one says the start time is 1.56 and I'm ending 2.30. If that time is not enough for you, you can uh, always change it, right? From 2.30 to 3, 3 o'clock. It's up to you, okay? And then submit. So... Once it turns green over here, that means I can enter this lab. I have 53 minutes to finish this lab. So let's go ahead and enter that lab and see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. So initializing, yeah, it depends on how many people are accessing right now. So as usual, you will see foundation zero, right? So you click on that. It takes you to kiosk, so you click on the kiosk, and then uh, Red Hat is going to be your uh, password always, right? And click enter. They are lowercase, okay? So we saw that from lab number one, right? So you go to activities, access the terminal right here. And then as you can see, you log in into kiosk at foundation zero, right? Foundation zero log into, right? So we log into foundation zero as a kiosk. So now what do we need to do? We need to um, you need, we need to uh, start all the machine, right? Irish TM, Irish Red Hat, okay. Okay. TM, CTL, start all. Oh, hopefully, I'm not wrong. Yeah, come on, not fine. Irish T, sorry about that. So Irish T, okay. So it's all in uh, video number one, okay. All right, so everything is being started, right? So server A, server B is being started now. So we want to make sure we have uh, the instruction for the lab, okay? Open up. So let me see. Uh, so you log in uh, into Red Hat Academy as a student, right? Using all your credentials, right? So now let me pop in. Uh, okay, I will bring everything here. And then let's select the instruction. So what we have right now is, uh, I'm gonna swap it, okay? So I, I'd rather have the, uh, the instruction on the right, that way we can see everything that I'm doing. It's gonna come back here, and then uh, we'll drop that. So right now I have the instruction of the right, because uh, my picture is gonna be all over the place. That's why I like to have the, Terminal on the left side, so you can see everything that I'm doing. Okay, RHT dash VMCTL start all. That will start the machine. If you don't do that, then you, you have a lot of issue. You can't even access any server. Okay, so are we going to be working as a kiosk? No, we need to log in as a student. First of all, we go SSH. Okay, student what workstation. What I want to be right, it's a safe student at workstation, and sometimes it takes time, right? So, but now, yeah, we're lucky getting in right away, and then it shows you uh, my IP address and then the date that I'm logging in. So, now look at the instruction for the lab, right? Okay, so it says on the workstation, first of all, okay, I'm, I'm in there as a student, right? Student at workstation, that's good. Now, we want to start the lab. What is this lab called? Files review, right? So lab files review start. So this lab is being completed under the assumption that you follow the instruction from uh, 
from class, right? You have to be in class first, okay? And then uh, you will uh, see how I explain the whole course, right? Because uh, we have a slide, we have PowerPoints that explain the course, that explain all the commands here. So I'm not explaining in depth the commands in the lab. We just do in the lab, right? So I'm assuming everyone uh, was in class, okay? And then you know what the commands do, right? You know everything, okay, about the commands. All right. So it will show success if you are in uh, the server because the server B is where the lab is embedded. So we are in server B, right? We start the lab. We are in, okay, successfully. Now, we want to log in as a student, not in the workstation, but inside where? Server B. Again, we have to issue us SSH. So I will, uh, I will issue the previous command. So let's go ahead and do that. SSH student at what? Server B. So we're in as a student in Server B. So I'm on step number one in the lab though, okay? There we go. So it should change right away, right? So student, okay? You see student at Server B instead of workstation. So always make sure you are in the right directory, right? Okay, so that's the first thing we do. The next one says what? Before you create a prof project file, use a, of course, we learn in class that if you want to create a directory, what do you do? You use a make directory, M-K-D-I-R. That's what you use to make a directory. So here we want to make a directory using the M-K-D-I-R command, okay? And then uh, that will, uh, help us create a, a directory called the document project plan. All right, let's go ahead and do that. So make directory space, right? We should know all the, what the P stands for from uh, slides, right? Okay, and then the tilde is gonna be used. We know why, right? Like I say, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna go over the, uh, Means right, I did okay. I did plants, um, so make sure you have uh, you spell things right, right? So, we want to create two empty files in uh, these documents after we create the directory. So, make directory right, document project plans, right? That's the directory. So, we learned that if you want to create a file, we can use the touch, right? Touch will create an empty file for us if it does not exist. So, we go touch, right? And then uh, slash, right? right? Because because there's no space, that's why I went into the next line. If there's space, just continue with that line, okay? So, you do uh, tilde, okay? Document. So, we do the slash, don't forget the slash, right? Document. Document. Okay. Project, project plants, project plants. Okay. So we learn all the what the curly bracket does, right? It will be season one, okay? Project plan dot odf, and then season two, right? So you can uh, nest all those into the curly bracket, right? So let's do that. Plans, let me make sure I spell a document slash project plan slash curly bracket and then season one comma season two. Close the curly bracket and then underscore plan underscore project, sorry, project. And then uh, underscore plan. Then dot ODF. All right. So make sure everything is spelled right. Touch, right? Touch. Okay. So if it doesn't, I will tell you. Okay. So touch, blah, 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 cannot. So these are the common mistake uh, because uh, it went to the next line. So it is easy to, uh, to forget something, right? So when you do tilde, okay. Slash before you do that, there should be. Let me see, till the documents project plants season one, season two. Okay, right. 
Uh, let's make sure we didn't we spell everything correctly. Okay, so I'm gonna issue the command and then we'll fix it. Okay, so this is what we will have to do. So, ouch. Okay. All right, so I'm putting this black together. There we go. Document slash okay. project plants slash season one, season two, project slash plan dot ODF. All right. Okay. Student server B. All right, so let's do it. Ouch. Space. And then I'm going to go to the next line. And then uh, we'll issue the command tilde space document. And slash project. Project. And slash. Season one, comma, season two, project, underscore, project again, and at ODF. Okay. Okay. Dot ODF. There we go. Took it. So when you do touch, because it went to the lens line, just do the back, the backslash and then uh, press enter. That way you go to the next line and then you type in uh, the rest of the command beginning from tilde forward slash document forward slash project underscore plan. Okay. Slash season one, season two underscore projects underscore plan. Dot. Okay. Those are the common mistake if you get in an error. All right. Now we learned that we can use the LS, okay, to see, okay, inside the order happening in, inside the directory, right? So we want to see LS, okay, LR, okay, and then the directory name documents, right? So the name of the directory is document, okay? So we want to see everything that is inside that directory. There we go. So for now, don't worry about the DRWX, RWX, R. Don't worry about it. There's going to be a lab where we will explain all that means, right? For now, we just want to know how to create a directory, how to create a file, how to look inside that file, and then do some kind of activity. So let's move on. So it's been created, and that's what we want to see, because if you look at the here, that's what we want to see exactly. That's what we're seeing, right? Okay, so we're going to step three. In step three, what we want to do is we want to create a set of empty practice files, right? Touch, right? Magic. So Touch will create those empty files, right? So TV season. Okay, remember, instead of doing Touch season one, episode one, and then do it six times, we can uh, nest it all down using the curly bracket, right? So that's why we're using the curly bracket. So one dot dot two. So we're creating that file one and two, right? And then episode, right? How many episodes? Six episodes. So episode curly bracket one dot dot to six, right? And then close the curly bracket dot ODD. We did that in the slides, right? So this is just. So TV underscore season one, two, episode one through six dot. All right. So if it is correct, shouldn't show any mistake. Again, LS, okay. And then TV. Remember, remember, remember when we were in the slides. So we have here TV and then so we want anything that start with TV, right? That's what we want to show. Right. Good. All right. So TV, TV, TV. As you can see, it shows all of them. Episode one, two, three, four. Okay. All right. Five, six, seven. Okay. So we have six of them. So one, two, three, four, five. And then uh, for season two, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Right. For season one, one, two, three, four, five, six. 
for season two, one, two, three, four, five, six as well, right? All right, so that shows what we want. So we go to step uh, number five, right? No, no, number four. So now we want to create uh, a file called a mystery chapter, right? So we want to create a series of that. So from one all the way through eight, right? So as the author of a successful series, right? So we're just trying to create those, uh, um, uh, organize those file and directory. So a user who is looking for a series can uh, access that series easily. Let's just assume you're working from Amazon and uh, your job is to make sure those directory are being configured the way they should be, right? So this is just one example. So let's go ahead and uh, touch again. So touch. Mystery, right? Mystery. Chapter. Chapter. Curly brackets. So one dot dot eight. So all the way through eight. And then dot UDF. UDF, right? Touch mystery chapter. All right. So it create that file. Okay. So be careful, if you name that file wrong, you will create that wrong file and you will never be able to access it by using the following, the command that will follow. So make sure everything is being spelled correctly, right? And then LS. So we want to display everything that start with MYS, MYS star, right? And then it shows all of them. So mystery chapter one, all the way through eight, they all been shown, right? Okay, they all been shown right there. So now we want to make a directory, okay, called videos season one all the way through two, right? So make directory, M-K-D-Y-D-I-R, E, video, uppercase V, right? So that's just the name, slash season, and then one, but two, but two, Now, let's see everything that is in videos, right? Let's videos, right? Season one, season two, we're good. So that completes five. Now let's go to six. So in six, we want to move the appropriate TV episode into the season subdirectories, right? To, and then uh, we've been instructed to use how many comments? Two comments. So let's do that. So move, we know that we have to use MV, right? appropriate season right so move tv season one all right you know what the star means right anything that begin with the tv underscore season one you want to move that into videos slash season one right so let's do that so move tv underscore season one r space videos slash season one okay so we move that into season one i'm not going to type it again just use the arrow upper arrow all right and then change the one into a uh, two right so to save some time all right so we do that for one and two and then we move it now let's see what is in the video now there's our videos So we move uh, season one, okay? All right, so if you look at here, we said the video season one, okay? So what we had before was not so classified, right? Now it's being classified. So in season one, we have all the episodes that are in there. Season two, we have all the episodes that are in there, right? So that's how we've been organized. All right, now next one, is uh what do we want to do next that's a seven right we want to create a two level directory hierarchy right with a single remember the hierarchy from the powerpoint okay with a single command to organize the mystery book chapters right let's go ahead and do that so we want to create my bestseller under the document directory so let's do that so make directory okay dash p documents Okay, slash. So under that directory called document, we want to create the subdirectory called my best seller. Okay. So my best seller 
slash chapters. Okay. Make sure we spell it right because this is a new thing you're creating. It will take it, it will create it, it will not show any error because you're creating it. But you will not be able to access it later on, right? If you misspell it. All right. So now LS R document. What is inside document? Let's see. All right. So we create that. So it's showing my bestseller. You see, my bestseller is in there, right? My bestseller, project plan. So we have two now. We created a project plan from the beginning of the lab, right? Now we create my bestseller. So we have two of them. Okay. Now, document my bestseller. What is in my bestseller? Chapters are in there, right? So it says chapters. Okay. And then on the, the document is a directory, right? My bestseller is a subdirectory of that directory, right? And then chapter is a file inside that directory, right? Okay. So it's displaying everything from uh, the hierarchy, the label, right? The root or the directory, the subdirectory, and the files, right? That we learn in the class. That completes seven. Let's go to eight. Eight, what do we want to do? We want to create three more subdirectories, right? Under the My Bestseller. Let's go ahead and do that. And then uh, we've been given names, right? Editor, Changes, Vacations, right? Let's go ahead and do that. So make directory. So I'm going to bring uh, the make directory that I made before, and then I'm going to change things in there just to save some time. So I will remove the unnecessary main. So the T is getting out. Okay. My bestseller is going to be there, right? And then uh, chapter is going to get out, and then I will have my curly bracket, right? A curly bracket with the editor. Comma what changes? Comma what vacation? All right. Okay. So we make those a three direct on the on just one command. We make all those three right. Good. Now let's see what is inside there. Allies are documents. Ooh. Okay, so you can see that changes, chapters, editor, they're all in there. And then uh, is in alphabetic order, right? Changes, chapters, editor, vacation, right? Editor, vacation, right? And then uh, there we go. Shows them here in blue, right? All the directory document, what is inside document, and then what is inside the bestseller, changes, chapters, editor, vacation, right? And then uh, what is in changes for now is empty. Everything is empty, so that's why it's just showing that. Okay. All right. Number nine. So change to the chapters directory, right? We want to make change to the chapter directory. So using the tilde, right? Okay, we want to use that to specify the source of the file. We want to move all the book chapters to the chapters, right? That's why we say chapter, right? All the chapters for the book will go into chapters. All the editor will go into editors and so on and so on. So by classifying. So first of all, we need to go into chapters, right? Because uh, it's happening inside the directory called chapters. How do we change directory? CD, right? Change directory and then document. Document my bestseller. My bestseller chapter. So that's exactly what we want to do. So we want to be specific, right? So see the documents, my bestseller chapters, and then it should append the chapters on there, right? Showing that we are in that directory. Okay. Now, what do we want to do? We want to move, okay? Anything that starts with chapter, okay, we want to move that. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. So move till the shortcut, my mystery, sorry about that, mystery, chapters, okay. Okay, space and then the dot, okay. So chapter dot, move, okay. So curly bracket. So from my mystery, I'm moving everything that is beginning with chapter. Let's go ahead and do that. And then let's uh, show this the uh, content of the directory chapters. Okay. So we have mystery chapter one, 
up to two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we have all the chapters moving to that directory. Are we good? So now we just using ls. Why? Because we already in that directory, right? So we don't have to specify that anymore. So that's why we have ls only, right? Beautiful. All right, uh, number ten. So it's just describing what we just did, right? We send the first two chapters on the editor. So let's do that. So let's send the the first two chapters into editor, right? Let's do that. So move. I'm going to bring back move, but in this case, it will not be star anymore. It will just be specific. The first two. Okay. The first two dot ODF. Where do we want to move it to? To editor. Okay. All right. And then I need to make sure. In this case, we're not using the shortcut anymore, so I'm going to take the build and the slash out. Okay. And then enter. Good. Now, ls again. As you can see, one and two disappear. We have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Okay. So now, ls. Let's see what is inside editor. And, and, all right. So we have chapter one and chapter two that we move from my mystery into editor, right? So we in good shape. Now, 11, what do we want to do? So while on vacation, you intend to write chapter seven and chapter eight. So let's use a single command to move the files from the chapters directory to the vacation directory, right? So we move from misery seven and eight, okay, into vacation. So I'm gonna use the previous command again. Okay, so move my misery in this case will be instead of one and two, be seven and eight. Seven and eight, try ODF into what? It's not gonna go into editor, it will go into our vacation. Vacation, right? So move that into vacation. So we move into vacation. Let's show what we did. As you can see, seven and eight. One and two, we move it already. It shouldn't be there anyway. Seven and eight, we just move. It shouldn't be there. Now let's see what is in vacation. Okay. Let me change editor with the vacation. Vacation, what is in there? Boom. Seven and eight are moving there. That's fun. Okay, now let's go to 12. So we want to change the work directory to what video season two and then copy the first episode of the season to vacation okay instruction so we're no longer in chapter so let's get out of chapter so cd all right where do we want to go we want to go to video videos season two all right we're moving to there and then what do we want to do we want to go to copy Okay, CP. Copy. What? CP is copy, right? So what do we want to copy? You want to copy episode. One and two. O G D. Okay. Copy. Make sure we're not missing any step, otherwise uh, it will fail you for that step you miss, right? So my mystery. History bestseller. Oh, bestseller, sorry. Bestseller vacation. Vacation. So let's make sure everything is spelled correctly. So episode one, we copy. Okay. Let's go here. Let me go back again. It's a star. So when the star is behind, that means uh, anything that ends, right? If it is in front. At the end, it means everything that starts. Okay, start means everything that ends with episode one dot ODG. From where? From documents, my uh, mystery bestseller vacation, right? So change your working directory to that. That's what we did, CD, right? And then after we did that, we're trying to copy what? Copy the first episode of the season, right? 
first episode, which is episode one, into her vacation. Vacation is part of what? My best seller, my, my mystery seller, right? And then mystery seller is part of what? Document, okay? All right, let's uh, hit enter. Okay, cannot find that. That's beautiful. Cannot find it. Because uh, we went to the next line, so we have to make sure we're doing things right, right? Okay, so copy. I'm going to do that again. So copy. So CD. I'm in season uh, two, right? That's good. So CD. So copy episode one dot ODG. Tilde documents mystery. Let me see if I uh, no, and I, I don't need mystery. Mystery bestseller does not exist, right? That's what it's say. Cannot find is my best seller. STI. So my best seller, right? Okay. Here we go. Now it copies, and so now let's see if uh, it took it right. So to do that, we need to. So let's do the same thing for season uh, season. Uh, let's go ahead and do the same. Go back to um, uh, season two. We in there, so we copy thing back to season two. Let's go back to um, um, to vacation. So CD CD uh, document document. I yes. hello. Okay, vacation. I'm gonna go to vacation and then see what is inside there. Okay, document my best seller vacation. So it should show the right director. Every time you do CD, make sure you are in the right director. Okay. We want to change it to vacation. We go to vacation. And then let's do LS to see what is inside vacation. As you can see, inside vacation now. You have uh, chapter seven, chapter eight, which we copied before. Now we put seven, uh, what do you call it? The TV season, right? Two, episode one in there. So we should be fine. Okay. Now let's uh, move uh, the directory, CD one up, right? So CD. Okay. So it, go, it went back to season two, right? So let's take us back to season two. And then uh, now let's do the same thing we did before. Let's copy episode two, right? Okay, into vacation. Okay, let me see. Uh, copy episode two. So I'm just going to change one into two. Copy episode two into document my bestseller vacation, right? And then enter. We did that again. We will. You see the one more time, just the way we did it before. And then it will show vacation. It shows that we are in vacation. Let's see what is inside vacation now. We should be seeing episode one and episode two in vacation. Now let's go to 14. All right, 14. What are we trying to do? So the author of chapter five and six want to experiment, okay, with possible changes. So we want to copy both file from the document my bestseller chapters okay want to copy from there okay and then uh so we want to copy from there want to use a square bracket for you doing that just for okay let's go ahead and do that first of all we change directory so change directory back to our document let me bring it up uh, quickly let's see cd yeah document my bestseller only no vacation okay cd Build that document, my bestseller. Okay, so we are inside my bestseller now. Let's copy chapters, right? So copy chapters, right? Me, my no mystery. Okay, chapter okay five six. Lose that. But if Changes. All right, so we're copying uh, everything that is in uh, the, the 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 hierarchy chapters mystery slash chapter. So we copy in chapter five and six into changes, right? So we make change and then we call it changes and then put it into the changes. All right, CP chapter. So it took it. 
Now, and let's let's see what is in chapters. All right. So in chapters, because we copy everything that is in uh, um, uh, five six, right? So three, four, five, six. Okay. So we have that. Now let's uh, see what is in changes. Okay. Because chapters, we just copy stuff, right? We didn't change anything, so we should expect three, four, five, six that were in there should be there. But now, what should be in changes? It should be five and six only, right? Okay. So five and six only. We good. Now, let's change uh, the current directory to changes uh, directory, right? So let's do that. So by using that, uh, we, we learn the format for the date. We learned that from lab one. We um, we amplifies that in uh, chapter two, chapter three as well. So now let's go ahead and uh, go back to change, right? See the changes. We want to go to changes. That's what we want to make the change, right? So. Let's go ahead and uh, copy everything that is in uh, mystery underscore chapters. Chapter five, mystery chapter five dot ODF. Okay. So here's another one too, guys. When Whenever you're using a slash, so put the slash, put enter. So go to the next line and then do yourself a favor so you don't fail. So mystery chapter, chapter five, okay? Mystery chapter five, and then the dollar sign, we know what it is, right? From uh, the slides. So date, which format do you want to use first? You want to use the pass percentage F. All right, close the parenthesis dot ODF. Okay. All right, slash my mystery chapter five. Okay, pointing to the date and the first format is F dot ODF. And then we'll do the same thing, but at this point we'll do the percentage S. So let's bring it back and then let me go to change F into S. Okay, and then uh, copy five. Okay, did that, and then enter. All right, good. And then uh, let's let's see what we have. As you can see, it says uh, mystery chapter five, right? And then mystery chapter five, and then mystery chapter five, two thousand twenty-two, depending on the format, right? And then it shows uh, the chapters on there. Okay, good, good, good. Now, what's that's 15, right? So 16, we want to learn how to, we want to apply how to remove file, right? Remove file is RM. Remove directory is what? RM, D, Y, R. Don't forget that. So we want to remove uh, all the files that start with mystery. So RM, remove space, mystery, R. Okay, everything that starts with the uh, mystery. Let's remove those. So inside changes. So we remove that. In directory to after. So it went back to my bestseller, right? If you uh, draw the hierarchy of uh, that uh, directory. Okay, we have document. We have uh, um, my bestseller. We have a uh, change, right? So. I'm moving, so let me increase the reservation. Request more time, just in case, right? Just in case. All right. So you can always uh, increase the time. All right. So now let's see what is inside that. So Alex, we have changes chapters editor. Okay. So when I remove changes, right? Okay. Now let's remove the directory called changes, right? So remove. DRR, so but let's just try to let's say you forgot you don't know that for direct you have to use rm dyr just use rm and then changes and see if you will remove it. no no you can do that and not be removed it is a directory so you have to use rm d i r for you can remove changes okay you did remove changes now now let's do ls so this is no longer in the list. Chapters and notifications should be in the list. 
Take us to 17. Okay, now let's remove vacation. So arm, R, vacation. Okay, so remove vacation. Let's, so we want to vacation anymore. Now let's change directory. Okay, back to the default, which is the server, right? Because we didn't say anything, it will take you back to the root, right? All right, so now let's go to make a new directory. So make directory, until then document. Okay, so we're back to server B1, we'll make a backup file, backup directory, right? Backups. Okay, and make directory document. So backup will be on the document as well, right? So we create that. So remember, what the LN stand for, right? So we try and do a, a hard link, right? Create a hard link. We have hard link and soft link. What do they mean? It is in the slide, right? Okay, so LN, tilde, slash document, document, project, project, and, Season, season two, all right, project, and ODF, ODF, okay, so let's just make sure everything is being spelled out correctly, ODF, so we do the backslash, press enter, go to the next line, otherwise uh, you might forget something in there and then it will fail you. So tilde, document, document, backups, okay, backups, season two, right? Season two, project. So on the hard drive, this will create a, a backup file, right? Plan but ODF. And that back that backup file will have the same thing that the initial file has. That's all. So let me make sure I spell everything right. So documents backups season two underscore project underscore plan dot odf dot back. So first one is uh, documents project plans season two underscore projects underscore plan dot odf. Good, he took it, right? I mean, there's no mistake. Now let's go to LS, LR, tilde, documents, okay? And see what is inside there. Right. Because uh, we just copy things from there, right? So again, don't worry about the RW, we'll explain all that in depth in a, when we try when we're doing permissions right so don't worry about it so as you can see we have uh, everything that we uh, have in the uh, documents right so home student document contain okay backups file my best seller project plan directory right okay no files all right and then inside backups Okay, Irashi. It goes from document, shows what is inside document. So backups, bestseller, project plans, and then take them one by one. Backups, what is in there? In backups, we have uh, um, uh, students. Okay, total zero. So we have students, season two, and stuff like that. And then in my bestseller, of course, we have chapters, editor, and then we'll grab chapters and show you what is in there as well. Okay. And then we'll grab editor and show you what is in there as well. Okay. And then uh, at the end of the day, we'll show you project plan as well. What is in there. Okay. This is what we want to see, right? Okay. We're done with this lab, but uh, let's exit. Go back to server before we can uh, greet ourselves, right? So let's, let's get ourselves out of uh, the server B. So exit. Okay. So workstation, that's where we started the lab, right? So now let's review the lab and then grade it. So lab, files, 
View Space Grid. Boom. Ooh, pass it. Right? Pass it. So everything is green. You pass it over our pass it. Remember, if you fail every single of them, it will fail the overall lab. And like I said, there's no pressure created for for the labs. Either you have 50 point, if I have zero, right? So don't submit the failed lab, please. All right, so we grade it. So you, you're not done, you have to finish it, right? Finishing it will uh, get you out of the servers, right? So they don't get congested. So we will issue the same command by change grid with the finish, right? Finish. All right, good. So everything is successful. What are you how are you sending to me? People are just sending the screen here. I don't want that. I want to know you, the one who did the lab. So please grab a spin snipping tool. So let me copy from all the way over here, all the way. So I take a screenshot of all the way over here showing my username, right? My email. All right. And that's what you want to save somewhere. File save us. Okay, I created a, a file on the PCC. Let's take a look at that. You can do whatever you want, okay? So that uh, my files, I can see them from the desktop. PCC, uh, okay, CIS 137. And then I'm just gonna give it a name, call it lab, apps, okay? And then uh, inside the lab, I will uh, call this what lab number two, right? And then uh, save. It is in there, right? It is in there. I can go to D two L now. Okay. Let me take this out. I can go back to D two L. Here's a D two L. Whatever it is, is right here, right? I can go back to D two L and go to content. People were asking, what am I going to submit all this? If you can't find it in the content, go to assessment, assignments, right? Assessment, assignment, and then look at that lab. That's lab two. Click on that lab. And then uh, as a student, they will ask you to, uh, to uh, submit a file, right? And then you go ahead and submit your file. Okay? Submit your file. Good. That's how you, all you need to do for this lab. And if you have any questions, send me an email. And then, or you can schedule a, a meeting. Send me an email. We can meet. Okay. All right. So have a great day. And then I will see you in the next video. Bye.